Hey, what's going on? It's Bill Burr, and it's time for the Monday Morning Podcast from Monday, December 28th, 2015, the final Monday, Monday, Monday of 2015. All right, what are you going to do with it, huh? You're going to take advantage of it? You're going to get out there and fucking, huh? I just saw this really douchey commercial. I'm recording this Sunday while I'm watching the end of the Seattle game and watching the Packers get their fucking asses kicked by the Cardinals. Um, I just saw this commercial, right? There's this lady. She's in her car, right? Cute as a button, driving along, and she's in this city, and she's like, there's over 2,460,317 people in this city and only one me. And then she goes, I like those odds. And then this chick starts singing, this is my fucking fight. Or whatever the fuck it's. <laughs> so stupid. I never seen hype over absolutely nothing. Like, what do you mean you like those odds? Is, it, is there a way to improve those odds? Are you going to drive up on the sidewalk and try to lower the fucking numbers? Yeah, I like those. Yeah, I don't feel like fucking taking out anybody today. I guess I can live with that. Ugh. Is this like the result of like sports, like athletes and rappers and stuff, shit talking? It's become such a part of the culture that you got to say something dumb like that. Like back in the day, you'd move to the city and you'd be like, oh, Jesus Christ, look at all these people. Well, you know, I put my, you know, I put my head down and I, 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 I give it the old college try and hopefully uh, things will work out for me and I could. Get my own little piece of the pie here, right? Now it's all going to be like, yeah, it's fucking three million people here. And just me. Yeah. Yeah, suck my dick. I can handle that. <laughs> you fucking driving down the street in your Ford Focus. The fuck are you talking about? What do you got in the trunk of your car that gives you that much confidence, huh? What do you got? You got some gold bars, huh? Um. Anyways. I'm watching the end of the Seattle game here because I, I feel like the Seahawks are going to come back. You know, old Sneaky Pete. Everybody's fucking talking about this guy. They're talking about that guy. Slowly but surely, Seattle is clawing their way back into it. Um, hopefully, they'll be on the road so we don't have to listen to how loud they are again. Look here in Seattle. It's such a loud stadium. Look how loud they are. You know what's weird about Seattle? You don't see one lumberjack in the fucking crowd, you know, with all the logging that goes on up there. It's a bunch of coffee drinking cunts wearing a little Kurt with the Kurt Cobain fucking goatee. Um, you'd think every once in a while you'd find somebody actually wearing a flannel because they're a lumberjack, not because they're into Pearl Jam. That's all I'm saying. Was Eddie, did Eddie Vetta, did he used to cut down trees? How about Kurt Cobain? Did they used to do that stuff? Is that what they did? Is that why they dressed like that? Or were they mocking? Were they dressing like lumberjacks in an ironic way? Um, and a foreshadowing of the hipster movement that took hold somewhere in the mid-2000s. Or maybe they were just cold. You know, it's always raining out there. And they have to sing. Maybe they wanted to protect their instrument. I don't fucking know. Um, I saw a guy jogging down the street today in jeans and like these sneakers that were mocking running sneakers. And then he had a t-shirt on in this weird sort of tank top and the exact same haircut of people I used to see have in like 1975. You know, it was just like, you're trying really fucking hard. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't understand it. I don't understand just your whole fucking wardrobe and your look is mocking another decade. Is that what it is? I don't fucking, I don't know. I don't, I don't pretend to know. Anyways, let's talk a little sports here. As much as people can't fucking stand, a lot of people can't stand. I don't give a shit. You know, I don't give a shit. I don't have any advertising this week, okay? That's what it's come down to. You know, me being a smart aleck in all of these fucking ads, right? And then you guys egging me on. Oh, yeah, I'm blaming you. You guys egging me on. You know, I, I, I can't walk away from a fucking easy laugh. Um, now look at me. I'm ending the year empty-handed. 60 minutes of podcasting and no advertising. And only just one me. I like those odds. 
What a fucking douche. Ugh, good Lord. I'd rather eat glass than fucking have to watch that whole fucking YOLO. You know how we do. Ugh, everything is so fucking important. Me and my bros. Um... Oh, don't I just sound like an angry old man? I'm not actually. I'm actually got my feet up. I'm drinking a Miller. I'm having a good time. There's a snow globe within reach. I mean, I don't have a lot to complain about. Um, you know, when we're all extinct, I think that's going to be the big thing that aliens will look at one day. You know, that they'll find, they'll unearth is snow globes and they'll try to figure out what the fuck they meant. You know, they probably think it was some sort of power source. They hovered their hands over it.